Hello Nidorinars and Nidorinos, I'm King Nido and today we're coming here from Anastar City where the Galaxy have lost their last two games but they are still knocking on the door of being in the Elite Four currently sitting in 8th place and they do not want to lose a third game in a row as they're going up against the Golden Rod Guild who are currently in 10th and they want to be in that upper bracket as well. So with that said, let us know in the comments below who you think is going to win this match. Will it be the Psychic types? Will it be the Normal types? Let's go! Three. That's right, both these sides still heavily in contention this season as the Golden Road Guild are starting out with Blissey and the Dunsparce. It is going to be Metagross and the Hisuian Bravery starting out for the NSR Galaxy and immediately Metagross is going to go for the Attract, but that is not going to work on the Dunsparce. So Bravery having to do its part is going to go for the Fire Pledge, immediately focusing in on Blissey who tanks that move allowing the Dunsparce to go for the Ice Punch. Not very effective on Metagross, it would have been super effective on Bravery, but Metagross has been frozen solid. That could be massive. If his Blissey is going to go with the Bleak Wind Storm, which is going to be avoided by the Frozen Metagross, but it gets a good amount of damage there done to Bravery and lowers its speed in the process as well. And Metagross is still frozen solid here on the field, which allows the Dunsparce to go for the Aquatel, focusing in on Bravery, getting massive damage there. Blissey's going to follow it up with the Foul Play. This will be super effective and gets the elimination. Bravery has been taken out by Blissey of all Pokemon. And out in its place now comes Weird Ear for the Anastar Galaxy. And Metagross has thawed out, allowing it to go for the Haze, setting that up here on the side of the Anastar Galaxy so that all stat changes do get eliminated. And Weird Ear is going to follow it up with the Flatter Pig, flattering Blissey on the field, boosting its special attack, which is base 75 however it is left in that confused state and it is going to need to shake that off otherwise it is going to be doing damage to itself as we see happen right now unfortunately for blissey one of the nicest pokemon in the pokotop league but the dunspass goes with the matcha gotcha which with that sap super ability of witty is going to boost its attack however it is going to damage metagross here on the field not very effective however metagross is left with that burn it's gone from being frozen solid to now being burned and that's going to cut into that 135 base attack but also do that passive damage as we see melting that steel down on the field it goes with the willow wisp on to blissey so now blissey is going to have to contend with being burned as well on this field so both of them will be feeling that those effects of the burn as we get the no retreat now from Weird Ear. It is going for the Omni Boost and it's already had that boosted attack thanks to that Sap Super ability. Boosting that 105 base attack. It's also got the 105 special attack as well. And although it says it can no longer escape, it is not looking to run away as the Dunsparce goes with the Darkest Lariat focusing in super effective there onto Metagross. But should they try and take down this boosted Weird Ear? As Blissey yet again needs to shake off this confusion, it is successful going with the LS, which is going to trade places with the Dunsparce, with where they are on the field right now. As that burn does put Metagross into knockout range, it has become an easy target for the Golden Road Guild, but be wary of Weird Ear with that Omni Boost, has speed control, goes for the Stone Edge, and it takes Blissey out of this matchup, leveling the playing field for the NSR Galaxy. Five Pokemon remaining on both sides, we get the Metal Sound from Metagross onto the Dunsparce, so that is going to greatly lower the Dunsparce's special defense. The Dunsparce though does respond with the bounce, it is going to spring up high into the sky, trying to avoid taking any damage from the galaxy, but Metagross cannot avoid the effects of that burn, melting it away, and out comes Pogon Z with that download ability, boosting its special attack for the Golden Road Guild. Weird here though, with the psychic noise, goes for the Dunsparce, so it is able to avoid that attack. It is still high up in the sky. This allows Porygon to go with a fly of its own. They are definitely trying to avoid taking any damage from Weird here. Metagross needs to just not do anything. Merkulis going with the Crush Grip, which is avoided by the Dunsparce, who comes down hard with that bounce to finally take Metagross out of this matchup. That must have been the Dunsparce's mission here, as now out comes Iron Valiant for the Anastar Galaxy, and it is that Terrastal Drafty for the Psychic Touch, shedding that very fighting Typhon, but it has been having a great showing with handling its emotions, being a part of the Galaxy. We'll see what it can bring here today, as it does have that speed control going for a bounce of its own. Everyone wants to be up high in the sky. And we're here now. 
going with the coil yet again. That is the third at physical attack boost, also boosting its physical defense and its accuracy in the process. Weedy could be an absolute menace, being on the receiving end of that fly with the critical hit from Pogon. The Dunspass follows it up with the Incinerate, but it goes for Iron Valiant, who is able to avoid that attack, but Weedy unable to do so, does have its Slapperberry burned up in the process. And Iron Valiant comes down with that bounce, but Pogon's actually able to avoid that move. Weedy, though, looking at which part goes with the Iron Tail, and it is a one hit wonder. Pogon's is now taken out of this matchup, yet again leveling the playing field for the Galaxy, the Force Palm. Not very effective there from the Dunspass onto Iron Valiant, but it's left Iron Valiant with that paralysis, so it's going to slow it down, but it may also make it unable to move. That could be crucial as out comes Screamtail for the Golden Road Guild. It hasn't terrestrialized, though, the Aura Sphere from Weird. Another one hit wonder taking out the Dunspass and Screamtail with the Smart Strike. This is not going to miss. Very clever there to make sure it lands that target, but the Thrash from Iron Valley is going to phase straight through Screamtail as out comes slacking for the Golden Road Guild and Weirdo, who's having a fantastic turn, goes with the Night Days and it is a third one hit wonder and it's revealed to be Zoroark in its illusion form. Weirdy did not fall for that whatsoever. What is happening? Weirdy putting in on an absolute clinic. We get the Chloroblast from slacking and that sap super ability yet again boosting the attack of Weirdy. Iron Valley unable to move and out comes the real Scream Tail for the Golden Road Guild and this is what we expected to happen when the illusion came onto the field. It takes on that Terrastal normal typing as the Terrastal draftee for the Golden Road Guild. Scream Tail needs to focus in on Weirdy. The Golden Road Guild don't know what to do. We get the tickle now from Weirdy which is going to lower those physical stats of Scream Tail, both that physical attack and Physical defense as Screamtail goes with the cross poison doing very little damage there to Witty and sacking loafing around with that true ability allows Iron Valiant to go with the take part. It is going to cure itself of its paralysis, boosted in special attack and special defense in the process. It's already got 120 base special attack, and Iron Valiant now follows it up with the Icicle Spear, this multi hit move. On to Screamtail, if it can get all five, it got a critical hit there on the second one. But it's got three, it's got four, it's shooting them out of its blade that it holds on to. And Weirdy follows up with the psychic noise, it tried to go for this earlier, doing massive damage to slacking. It's also going to prevent slacking from being able to heal itself for the time being as well. As Screamtail goes with the expanding force, this is going to be resisted by Weirdy. Not very effective there on the psychic normal type and slacking follows it up with the razor shell. But it's avoided. Weird is able to avoid that attack and this allows Iron Valiant to go with the fusion bolt. Still focusing in on Scream Tail, eliminating Scream Tail from this matchup, not letting Weirdy have all the fun. Taking out the Terror Draft Eve for the Golden Rock Guild. Slacking is all by itself. It has four psychic types to contend with, but it's on the receiving end of the Dark Pulse. It's able to hang on by a thread, but because it's loafing around, it is not going to do anything. And it's no longer prevented from healing, but Iron Valiant can capitalize going with the Cotton Guard. Not going on the offensive, is it leaving it for Weirdy to finish the job? Physical defense boost for Iron Valiant, but Weirdy with the magical leap takes slacking out. And the Anna Star Galaxy have absolutely dominated the Golden Road Guild with, I believe, four attack boosts for Weedy and three one hit wonders. What was that? As it moves the galaxy up into sixth place, and next round they will be going up against the Verbank Plasma. Whereas for the guild, they need to recollect themselves as next round they will be going up against the Lumios Yellows. But until then, Nidorinos, Nidorinos, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments below who you thought was the best on field. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, share, subscribe. But more importantly, always remember you are awesome, and I'll see you when you see me.